Thanks guys, I'm enjoying some of the summer weather outside with this, the brand new Kia Telluride. For 2019, this will probably be the biggest new vehicle success story. This vehicle is built and designed in America. It has many things that do better than the competition and dealers are having a really hard time keeping it in stock. The one thing that Kia have always had out of their grasp is that large third row SUV until now. New Kia Telluride gives everything Americans want. Large family SUV, luxury, capability, an inexpensive starting price and that 10 year 100,000 mile warranty. Kia tried once before with the Borrego to create a large SUV that didn't go so well as gas prices hit an all time high shortly after it was introduced. But the Telluride is already a hit. I've talked with a number of customers who tell me that the dealers they purchased the vehicles from have offered them full price to sell them back just two months later because the dealer can't keep the new Telluride in stock. So what makes this vehicle such a hit? What happened a few years ago is a lot of car companies decided to do more aerodynamic SUVs while well, Kira found a way to make the Telluride aerodynamic yet still have that big boxy square appeal. It reminds me of Land Rovers 10 years ago and I think that's exactly what Americans are looking for. You can tell by just stepping into the driver's seat that Kia aren't messing around. A 10-way power adjustable driver's seat up front, a 7-inch LCD display, and a 7-inch display screen between the gauges in the driver's cluster on the SX trim. Sitting in the driver's seat, one of the things you immediately notice about this brand new Telluride is how well it's laid out on the inside. From grab handles to the big wide screen up front and all the buttons easily accessible, including the heated and cooled seats. There's buttons right there, you can see them immediately. There's no trouble when you're driving to do things like operate some of the switches on the inside of the car. The infotainment screen is 10.25 inches and Kia has their UVO system, soft touch dash, aluminum and wood trim, power folding mirrors, and all four windows are one touch up and down. Harman Kardon provides the stereo system which is 630 watts and has 10 speakers. But all the magic happens in the second row. The SX trim comes standard with captain's chairs and being the biggest Kia, they have made plenty of space. 42 inches of legroom means that most people will want to sit in the second row rather than the front row. The Prestige package will give you heated and ventilated seats in the second row, cup holders and power adapters in the center console, USB ports embedded in the side of the front seats, the nice addition of matte pockets on both sides with coat hooks. Up top, a panoramic sunroof which doesn't open but embedded in the roof is light and climate control buttons. The real problem for most families is accessing the third row, but if you don't want to climb between the captain's chairs, there's a simple one button push which tilts the second row seat forward and slides it so it can be operated by a five year old. Those interested under the hood, there is a V6 3.8 litre that creates 291 horsepower and I find it absolutely adequate in all driving conditions. It can also tow 5,000 pounds, which means that the boat or caravan that your family has can come along for the ride. The high end quality, well thought design and extras make this the ideal family vehicle. And I should note that Hyundai, Kia's parent company, will have their sister vehicle, the Palisade, coming in the next few weeks. It's expected to be more luxurious than the Telluride. Brand new Kia Telluride starts at under $32,000. Best fuel economy you'll get, 26 miles a gallon on the highway. I'm Nick Miles.